We're in Windows 10, and I'm going to show you how to use Windows Defender for anti-spyware and anti-malware, anti-virus, all that in one. So open up your control panel, go to All Items, click on Windows Defender, and once that opens, you'll see four different tabs at the top. The first tab will say whether or not it's on and up to date. And from here, you can do a scan. Uh, quick scans don't really do a lot. It's much smarter to go ahead and do a full scan. Or you can do a custom scan, which allows you to do specific folders or files. Click on uh, Update. And if for some reason it's not up to date, you can click the Update button. It will look for the latest definitions. And uh, once it's done, it will let you know that it is once again up to date. If not, and you've got some sort of a problem, then you'll need to do some troubleshooting. And there is a troubleshooting option right here in Control Panel. All right, so that's just about done. Then we can move on, and we can see that we are all up to date. Click on History. So view the items that were detected as potentially harmful. You can click on Quarantine Items. And these are items that were prevented from running. You click on View Details, and it'll show you any items that are in there. You can also click the allowed items that you've allowed to run on your PC, even though they may have been dangerous. Or you can click on the all detected items that were detected on your PC as well. So that sort of gets both quarantine and allowed items all in one spot. Click on settings. You've got some different options. Real-time protection will automatically protect you against viruses, other malicious activity uh, as it happens, rather than just waiting for the scan. You can exclude files and locations. So if you have certain folders that you do not want to have scanned, you can expand those. And uh, let's say, for instance, uh, we don't want to scan the recycle bin, so we'll just go ahead and choose that. You can also exclude file types. So if you have a file type that you uh, want to have be excluded, like .exe, I don't recommend that because that's where a lot of viruses come from. And then you can click Add, and then now that those types of files will not be scanned. You can also do the same thing with processes uh, that that uh, they can be. Uh, skipped as well uh, and again you, the process could be a .exe or other type of file like that. There's some advanced settings for you can scan archive files, removable drives, uh, system restore points. Before you do a system restore point you can check to make sure it doesn't have any viruses. Uh, allow all users to view the full history results. You don't uh, have to allow that you can just uh, allow yourself or administrators. Uh, you can remove the quarantine files automatically after X amount of days or months. And you can also send files to Microsoft for analysis. Uh, if you're part of the Microsoft Active Protect Protection Service, uh, you can automatically do reporting. At this point, we're not joining that. And then the administrator can turn on this app. When this checkbox is selected, the app will alert the user if spyware is or other potential uh, attempts are done. And we can go ahead and click Save Changes. So that is a review of the Windows Defender. And in Windows 10, it, it uh, scans for viruses and spyware instead of just spyware as it did in, in older versions.